Hello and welcome back to Pitch to Accounting Tutorial. Today we're going to talk a little bit about report and forms. Um, report and forms are very important in doing your day-to-day -day job with Pitch to Accounting because it allows you to see the information you need fast, quickly, and you can also transmit this data to other individual or person or save it without them having to open pitch tree accounting and seeing the rest of the stuff that you don't want it to say for example so with this particular tutorial i'm just going to show you where to find them and how to find them quickly so if you have your pitch tree open you can click on report and forms and when you click in one of this window it'll take you to this other window that says report and form so there are two tabs one of them is for reports and one of them is for form in the report tab, it has different categories. So when you click in one of these categories, it takes you to these type of reports and then the description of what that report is. So for example, you're looking for a financial statement. It takes you to this and then you can select what financial statement you're looking to print. And then you'll see the description. You can double click that and then you can click OK and it will show you what that um, the information you have previously entered in pitch tree in a report way so you can um, do all these different ways you can email it you can excel it you can also pdf it and then since we're not doing all the advanced stuff right now we're just going to close that um, what i would say is get yourself familiarized with the type of reports that you can generate from pitch tree because it will help you tremendously and then the other tab here is for forms so these are all the built-in forms if you need to create credit memos and checks and purchase order and you need to email this or print this you will be using some of these form here but if you're not happy with how the form looked at you want to add logo or you want to add additional information pertinent to your company you can customize this form say for example an invoice you can click customize and you can add the data you want using this tool here you can also change how it should look by double clicking it and you know adding that information here so um since we're not going to talk about customization right now i'm just going to close that here and then uh, what I would say is I'm more about um, efficiency so instead of going through all that to get to your report once you get used to it you can actually just go to your business status and get to this window that says uh, find a report if you don't see this you can customize this page and make sure that this find a report is clicked you can move it up you can move it down I'll put it number seven and then I'll click OK and it should be here at the bottom so the nice thing about this is instead of going through that and clicking all that you can just go right here category of report I'm trying to generate for example this financial statement what type of financial statement do I need I'll click this one and then here's the description you can display it or you can just print it right here so I hope you learned something and I'll see you at the next tutorial.